Brad, Brad, look, I get no, no. Hey, I didn't know he was so clumsy. He's fine. He's fine. He went unconscious for like a second, right? Didn't you? You were fine. I felt like I was flying in my mind. Yay! That's a fun thing. No, flying it's is fun. not. Look, he's fine. We're gonna. Hey, look, I gotta go. We're gonna start filming. Okay. No, I get it. Okay. We got. I gotta go. Yeah. Bye. You didn't even get me a helmet. A helmet was an extra ten bucks. Listen, Sun Tzu says in the art of war, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So you're seeing a lot more of me. Oh. Ah, I see too much of you. Isn't that the exact opposite of what you wanted? Uh, yeah. Look, I just, I don't trust that kid, Josie. Okay, I look, I him. want to get this thing going, okay? okay? Jay's ready with the sound. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tommy Lindholm Show. This week, Darnell does something stupid. Hello again, viewers, and welcome to The Bucket List Show. I'm your host, Tommy Lindholm, and on this week's show, we follow Darnell Walker in his fourth and final challenge. From all the emails and letters that have flooded in, we can tell that Darnell represents the common man. Look big. Wow, Margaret. I really like how you stay in the lines. Thanks. And Margaret represents the common woman. Nine, two, one. Ah, no. Ah. I just finished that in two minutes. Wow. Well, I've got a real brain twister here. Yeah? But I haven't tried nine. Is there a nine? Put a C there. Let's find out how he does this week, shall we? So, uh, Darnell, uh, yes. Margaret has been receiving a lot of fan mail. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. Um, Actually, my little predator here, she's... Uh, quite... Sorry, let me... Can we just take that back a second? Did you... Did I hear you call her your little predator? Yeah. That's my pet name for her. Ah. That's a matter. Yeah. It's a bit, you don't think it's a bit creepy sounding? Creepy. Uh, no. But that might explain why we get no kids at Halloween. Like, none. Ah. Zero. Yeah, what a wonder. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but let's turn it to Margaret. Margaret. Uh, do you have any pet names for Darnell here? Yes, I have a pet name for him. Oh. Oh, but he wasn't talking to you, sweetie. Yeah. He's talking to Margaret. Tommy? Yes? Would you like to know what I call him? Uh, uh, I call him the man who was not aware that there were two women in the hailstorm that night. Not one! <laughs> That's too long of a pet name, honey. <sighs> Is it? Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> we should probably like maybe cut this in over on Maybe here. Hey guys. <clears throat> uh, welcome back. You you've made up? It's got a pet name for you. A pet name for me? <laughs> oh, isn't that isn't that darling? <laughs> Why, uh, what, what is it? Tommy, Tommy, Tiger. My, my pet name for you is like, let's be friends. <laughs> like, that's kind of my... <laughs> yes, too long. So, we're here. Uh, why did you bring us out here to announce your next challenge, Darnell? Well, I was waiting for you to ask that, Tommy, and... What I... the heck you got going on here, Darnell? We're preparing for another bucket list challenge, Barry. Oh, so this is why Margaret calls me over here, because it's an emergency. Yeah, you know, up against the wall. Look at this. What the hell? Yeah. Check Are em. you packing? Seriously? Yeah, don't worry. She does it to everybody. He's good. All right, Mr. Gnome Killer. Play along and nobody gets hurt. Tommy, I'm about to demonstrate, rather than telling you, what my next bucket list challenge will be. Barry, headlock. Now. Uh, that's not a good idea. Barry, headlock. You killed Petey. I want you to put me in a headlock now and then. Oh. He's supposed to get out of this. Oh, oh. God. Oh, uh, Barry, Barry, you gotta let him go. Uh, he's out. Uh, I think he's unconscious. Uh, you guys better cut the cameras, okay? Uh, hey, come on, buddy. Uh, 
I forgot the number one rule, Tommy, which is limber the neck and marker. Yeah. We need some lube. Again. We need to apply the lube generously in order to make the trick effective. Not much. Okay, that's good. Like. Hey, that's good. Get it on there. Not gonna help. Tommy, for my next challenge, I'm gonna be an escape artist. I'm not gonna do it. Not, not. I say you're not gonna do it. There we go. Wow! Oh. What the? Damn it! It's not right. It's not. Ah. It's not. You ruined oh. everything. Oh, gross! Oh, that was from the my favorite part of get, my head. Get out of here! Go on. Get. How's it get look? Out. As good as it could. Oh. Huh? Here you go. Souvenir for the fans. Where's he going? So you're telling me that you want to do an escape artist trick, but that's harder than a headlock. Yeah, that would be too easy. <laughs> you made that look incredibly difficult. Yeah, well, strategy, Tommy. And I have a plan. Um, it's going to be an escape the box trick. I got the idea from when Margaret accidentally locked me in the freezer. Yeah. Oh, well, how long did it take you to escape out of that? I didn't. Spent four full hours in there before she finally found me. Three days in the hospital. She didn't find me until I was halfway through a hungry man dinner. And now you think those skills will help you get out of a box? Like you're going to escape out of a box? A locked box? Yeah. We have a box. Okay, let me give you a quick little rundown of my stunt. This here teddy bear, that's you obviously. You're going to be sitting on shore while okay. Margaret and I prepare the stunt. Okay. This Ken doll, this is Margaret. This Barbie doll, this is Darnell. That's me. Why aren't you the Ken doll? Uh, never mind, Tommy. I'm explaining the trick. Okay. okay. So, uh, Margaret is going to put Darnell in the box. Right. She's going to sit on the shore. Okay. We're going to close the box. Yeah. We're going to flip the box upside down. We're going to put it in the lake. Yeah. The box sinks. Oh, no. What happened to Darnell? Is he dead? People are going to be wondering. Yeah. But the answer is Darnell... Swims to the surface, bucket list, item number four, complete. So good. Love how your explanation left out every part of you escaping the box. You really leaving now? Yeah, I'm taking a break. What's to you? Listen, I heard all of that. You really think Brad's going to let you go through with this? It's dangerous. Darnell could die. We could get sued. <laughs> he could die, couldn't he? Hey, he's not gonna die. He's hit me. Hey, what are you doing listening in on everything anyway? Shouldn't you be at school or coloring books or something? Well, I'm too busy to color on a date. Hi, uh, Marcus? Do I know you? Um, well, I've seen you on TV and I just had to meet you. Okay, gotta go. You think that people want to fill the world with silly love songs. What are you doing? But I look around me and I see it isn't so. You're not from Moulin Rouge? Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. Unless you're singing. Do you like older girls? My uncle says women are just trouble, so. Uh, well, here's my number. Um, Maybe you could call me and we could get in trouble together. Let's do that. Oh, you're on a date. I thought your date was uh, keeping your eyes on me all the time. Listen, maybe one day when someone finally wants to go out with you, you'll understand. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too on your hot date. Yeah, so apparently you're supposed to disinfect it first. Ah, of course, yes. Um, Margaret, why are you chained up? Darnell, I thought you were escaping. Yes, Tommy, I will. And I'm going to explain and let me point uh, to these chains for you folks at home that need some convincing. Tommy, check those chains. Okay. Um, Gotcha. Yes. Uh, those, yeah, that's a legit setup. <laughs> they're, they're legit. 
Like I said. Yeah, um, you seem quite cold, Margaret. I've been here for three hours. What? Why? Well, it's kind of digging the chain. Are you ready, Davy? Ready when you are. Okay. Tell me, let me uh, demonstrate here. Okay. While Margaret's getting out of her chains, I will show you with a simple pair of handcuffs. Why are they soft and fluffy? Margaret won't let me put them on Mr. Tibble, but they're not soft and fluffy, Tommy. Uh, Mr. Tibble? Yeah, my cat. We have a blood pack. Okay, um, okay so, yeah. Regurgitating the key that I swallowed last, last night. Damn it, I think I'm going to have to wait until the key passes through my colon. Oh, I would just swallow it. If you knew you were doing this today, why would you swallow the key? Good point. <clears throat> Oh my god, that's incredible. You got it. Wow, that was like 20 seconds or something. That's a good job. Uh, darn it, I was stuck. I, 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 I got it. Hey, Joe, can you go get a hacksaw? He's not that. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Um, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pull up. Legs, right? Ah, right. you're tightening it. Oh, oh, oh. Down there. Down, oh, down, 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 down. 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 Okay. I do a lot of interviews, but I never thought I'd be on the Tommy Lindholm show. <laughs> so, the box escape. Very dangerous. I've done it many times, but so much can go wrong. Well, we showed you the video earlier. Uh, uh, very, very, let him go, let him go, very, very. Remember, you're in anger management. Uh, okay, buddy. Hey, oh, hey, hey, baby. hey, come, come to, hey, come on, Darnell. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> that guy, is he some kind of a joke? He's going to be doing the escape the box trick. How tall is he? Uh, about 5'10". Why? Order the casket now. Well, maybe you could help train? What? Uh, listen, I, I, I don't do that. What do we turn into some kind of a snuff show? Live killings? Is that what we turned into? Uh, God, uh, get, this, get this mic off me. Get off. Raw fish. Yeah. Tommy, can I get you over here? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, let's keep this loose. Roll camera two. Medium shot on this. Okay, Tommy, on your mark. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> so, Darnell, it's the big day. Uh, did you get any sleep at all last night? No. No, uh, but not for the reason that you would think. Oh, really? What happened? Me and Margaret got in a big fight, oh. and a punch was thrown. You punched Margaret? No, she punched me, but I wouldn't be mad, but when I fell over, I landed on uh, my etch sketch and it totally ruined my depiction of the first lunar landing. I was almost done, and I had to start all over again. Oh, that, that does sound horrible. Uh, yeah. But anyway, you know that you really have to focus today. Yeah, I know. I know, but that's where I've got friends like you, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep me yes. grounded. <laughs> of Keep course, me grounded. yeah. Uh, anyway, this is, the, uh, this is the box? Yeah, this is the box. Barry felt bad for pulling my hair out the other day, so he helped me build it. Did he? Yeah, he pretty much built the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, there are a lot of very sharp screws sticking out. This seems very unsafe. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Barry helped me build it. Um, so you think that you can escape out of this box before your air runs out, even though your hands will be shackled? Yes, but my calculations show that my best chance of survival is if they don't put me in the lake. Uh, but that is a huge part of this trick. You will absolutely be submerged in the water in this box. Right, but it's risky. It, see, it's kind of like that time that I left the baloney out on the counter for like a day or two or a week. And my cat, Rusty, didn't make it. Oh, I'm sorry. Your, so. your cat died from eating bologna? No, not from eating bologna. Margaret ran him over on the way to the hospital. Oh, of course. Well, Darnell, uh, let's just investigate this uh, escape yeah, box of yours. it's fine. You don't oh, need yeah, to really, really look You can really see the, yeah, well, let's call it craftsmanship. Hey, he very, he's you know, a pretty handy guy. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't kick that. Uh, that's probably not supposed to. You. When you had me check the box, uh, one of the escape panels fell off. Yeah, they found one of the escape panels. That's no big deal. Doesn't bother me. Oh, I'm 
I mean, you know, what's Great. what's one hole? Yeah. Not a big deal. <laughs> no big, no big deal. You know, other than that, it looks nice and solid. You know, yeah, like, this is fun. No, yeah, do you want to don't uh, want to kick, kick too much? Well, the first one wasn't a big deal at all. I was completely comfortable knowing that I still had the second hatch. When you found the second hatch, well, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Susie and I had to wash my underwear after that one because I sharted. She did. It was bad. You know what? I can see you're worried. Don't be worried. We will. We'll get a crew person and we will just we'll double screw those on. Like you'll never, you'll never be able to get into those holes. Yeah, you know, no. even if you wanted to, you would you would you wouldn't be able to. So uh, so don't worry, and uh, we'll get that fixed up right away, and then we'll get you in the box and we'll get you in the water, and we we can film this escape. Okay, yeah. does that sound good? Thanks, Tommy. My That's pleasure, boy. You're always looking out for me. Yeah, for sure. It's funny because you know, in hindsight, it would be really handy to have a panel like that just fall out so you could just get out. So, but, get I mean, down I'd in see, the box. I understand yep. that your contractual get obligations are more important than box. my safety, but yeah, I hope get that my death is box. on your head. Ow! Where's this water coming from, Dan? I bury. Uh, so you're trying to escape from a box. First things first. Gotta conserve your oxygen. Okay, I can't really see very well. Let's get another candle lit. Hey, <laughs> Dr. Black, how are you? Uh, it's a, you're here. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay. I've never seen a live execution before. Uh, well, wh what do you think? <laughs> I've drawn some pictures here. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay. There's Darnell. Yeah, yeah there he is. Yeah. There's the box and chains. Okay, yeah. Oh, what's what's that? Oh, that's an alligator. <laughs> There's no alligators in these waters. Yeah, I like drawing alligators. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's uh, the ambulance. Yeah. And what's what's this vehicle here? That's the coroner. Oh well, you, you only need a coroner if there's a death. <laughs> exactly. Here, you can see them dragging his dead, deceased body up out of the lake. Onto the shore. Uh, 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 stop the escape! Stop the. He can't hear me. Oh, he can't hear me. Oh, it's too late. Oh, I hope. Uh, it's too. We late. here at uh, Channel Ten would like to remind viewers that uh, Darnell Walker has signed off on this escape, and that uh, should anything unfortunate happen to him, there'll be a celebration of life. Say Wednesday. <laughs> you can do it, Darnell. Oh. Hello? Tommy! Tommy. Hey, Hello. hey, um, Darnell Walker here. Yeah, um, yeah, is Margaret around at all by any chance? And I'm trying to get a hold of her, but my uh, fingers are numb and I can't, I can't dial the number properly and you were the last person that called me, so. Uh, uh, no, I haven't seen Margaret lately, but uh, why are you, are you calling? You have your phone in there? Yeah, are well, you... I've, uh, I've got this book on how to get out of a box, and um, turns out it's there's no pictures. Oh, man, he has been down there a long time. I think it's too long. Been down there too long. Hey, Joe. Um, yeah. Can you call Margaret? I, I'm starting to get a bit worried. I have been. It keeps going to her voicemail. Okay, we'll keep trying because I'm worried something's going to happen and uh, she should be here. Yeah. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Get me out of this. <gasps> Margaret! Oh, uh, I, I'm definitely seeing something. Oh, this is a. Uh, oh, this is really good. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, there he is. That's Darnell coming out of the water now, and, uh, and there's Margaret coming down the beach to celebrate yet another bucketless victory. Uh, just a few seconds, he'll be on shore, and uh, uh, let's bring uh, let's bring Margaret in here first. Margaret, come on in. Uh, did you ever doubt for a second uh, Darnell's uh, victory? I did not doubt because he's on. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. I have seen 
brave bravery. This is so brave. I mean, uh, uh, Darnell, come on in here. Mark, you made it. Oh, glad, I, uh, glad you, you didn't miss it. Completely unheated. Unaided. Yes. Completely. Hundred percent. Unaided. Yeah. Darnell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was there ever a time when you you, you doubted you'd succeed? Tell me, thanks for asking that question because uh, the truth is yes. Um, right when I got into that box, and then also when the keys started coming up in the wrong order. <laughs> wrong one again, jeez. Okay. Uh, wow, that's it. well. It is an incredible thing that you've done. Yeah, it is. Yes. Well, uh, well, congratulations, Darnell. You you've ticked off all your bucket list Yay! items it's a real it's a real treat well there you go folks channel okay, 10 go, has had another victory Woo! there you go the bucket list has finally succeeded yet again with the the walkers and, and what a treat and and you know next week tune in as we draw yet another name and find out who will be on the bucket list show will it be you let's find out soon i'm tommy lindholm see you next time right here hang on what's going on brad mayer oh Hey Brad, what's up? You calling to congratulate me that we're done with those idiots? <laughs> well, that's a terrible idea. No, these, what? Abs no, absolutely not. No, no, I, my contract with them is done. Four hours, that's it. You've been trying to sabotage me this whole time. What was the stuff with Marcus? Trailing me everywhere? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not, you've been, you've been, you know what? This is a bunch of donkey hooey. Okay, there's no way. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. No, you can go right to hell. Okay, that's it. No, screw you, Brad. Oh my God. You seem to be a little bit stressed. Yeah. I'm, now we're I'm gonna very... do something. It's gonna calm you right down. Okay. Remember patty cake from when you were a kid? Yeah. Okay. Up like this. Yeah. Patty, patty cake. cake. Patty, patty cake. cake. Baker's man, poke it and prick it and mark it with a T then. Put it in the oven and a bake me to death.